of undefeated wrestlers, senior Angel Escobedo, freshman Matt McDonough. They're undefeated, they're 32 and 0, and they're going for a Big Ten championship. You're looking at Matt McDonough. Last year, he was at 133 in his red shirt year. Cuts down to 125, because he says, I want this shot right here. And here we go, he's got his shot. I tell you, he's really, uh, if uh, Escobedo says he wants to go high pace match and, and he looks like he's coming out there to try to control right away. But, uh, he's going to get one just because I think both guys are capable of doing a lot of different holds, a lot of scrambling. You're not going to see just somebody technically, tactically trying to win a 2-1 match here. So, you know, I'd be surprised if they don't really get after it. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been looking forward to this match the whole tournament. Uh, I think this one uh, is worth the price of admission. Uh, a lot of anticipation, uh, you know, very high-paced styles, uh, just different. And some would say McDonough is extended, but he has made a living out of pulling it in from that point. He's pulling in right now, but uh, he can tell he's not pulling the normal hip in. Otherwise, he would already done it. He's got a guy that's got a lot of a lot of quality, but he did get it, and he's going to get. Uh, no, he didn't. He did a great job of uh, keeping that far leg away. So McDonough did pull it in, but uh, it's still on the edge of the mat. This mat is really big because you can wrestle all the way out of bounds until both wrestlers are completely out of bounds. There it shows you the type of quality you're going to have in scrambles because look, they're going in circles. They're going in circles. Angel Escobedo from Griffith, Indiana. He was a four-time state champion. Matt McDonough from Linmar High School in Marion, Iowa, was a three-time state champion in Iowa. Great scramble position. There's Dwayne Goldman, NCAA champion for the coach here. Dan Gable at Iowa has six head coaches for in the Big Ten wrestle for the coach. And with Dan Gable and Joe, Joe Gibbons, there's Terry. Brands and Mike Zadick in the corner for Iowa. A little blood action on Matt McDonough here. These two have never met. McDonough and Escobedo. Escobedo won the NCAAs as a sophomore. He's a three-time All-American. Both these guys have been on a roll. Escobedo has picked up bonus points in his last nine matches. McDonough is on a roll as well because he's picked up bonus points in his last seven matches. They haven't even been close with their competition until this point. There's your national rankings by Intermat running below the screen. They'll we'll do that at every weight class, the national rankings going into the NCAA championships after the conference tournaments. Well, I'm glad that the referees are um, looking for stalemate situations, not let a lot of time go by. Good shot by, by Escobedo. Great hips action, even though he has a good chance to even score here. Most guys would have been on their butt there. But Donna had a, a great reaction, and he's, he's going to have a chance to... Stalemate neutral. Mike McCormick. Mike McCormick, the... Uh, the dentist on uh, the, during the week and one of the top officials in the nation on the weekends from Virginia is the head official, Mike McCormick. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing that we're already down to uh, 30 seconds left in this first period because there hasn't been a whole lot of you know, close to scoring action, but at the same time, there has been action. It kind of shows you the quality that you have here right now. Matt McDonough, the freshman's made it through the entire regular season of his redshirt freshman season undefeated. And now is in the finals of the Big Ten tournament against three-time All-American NCAA champion Angel Escobedo. As the time runs out here, we end the first period knotted at zero. Stop, guys. Dan, I kind of noticed uh, later in the match there, Escobedo starting to re uh, respect McDonough's length. You know, he doesn't want to let him back in on that leg. Uh, Matt's real strong in that position. He gets his hands locked. Uh, he's got a great chance of taking well, it Well, he put a lot of weight on that hip right away. He really sagged. He didn't really, he, he obviously has done some homework about him because, uh, you know, he is good at cutting the corners here. Mm -hmm. Saw a shot of Dwayne Goldman in his 18th season as the head coach at Indiana. Also sitting in the corner, two-time NCAA champion Joe Dubuque back at his alma mater in his first season as assistant coach. You bet he's in the room every day wrestling with Escobedo. Get your feet. McDonough been good all year long in the action, top guys, position. Action. Let's go, action. Escobedo's just really trying to hold his position right here. He's not really trying to make unnecessary moves. 
but uh, you know, he's, he's doing he's doing a, a little late situation there that uh, kind of counters well. Still green, still green, still green. And this is where you know Escamillo's a good writer, and so he's actually uh, losing some writing time here, only from the standpoint that McDonough is you know, is getting a lot of writing time built up. You see the writing time. Matt McDonough is building it up. It says Iowa in the blue right there in the right hand side of the uh, uh, the line at the top. He, it's, when he gets over a minute, and if he's able to maintain a minute of riding time, he'll get an extra point at the end of the match. The only thing I noticed about Escobedo is that it's almost like when you're taking him down, like when he's riding there, he doesn't just go right to his butt. He's able to hip heist up and get those legs free. And so, but that doesn't really get the control that he needs, whether it's riding or whether it's a takedown situation where you have to hurry to get a takedown. Escobedo has that national championship movement that it makes it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, but I'll, say, I'll tell you this, McDonough's kind of acting like a senior here. He's kind of baiting him into this riding time. Uh, they went over a minute without a stop in the action. Well, he's got a minute 12, and there's the escape for Angel Escobedo to go up. 1-0. I think this next 30 seconds are really crucial to the match here, unless uh, both guys just jockey for position. Esposito can score in a quick shot. Looks like McDonough takes him a little while. He doesn't get the quick explosive movement where this has a quick double leg that just works just like that. But he, he switched off to a head to the outside. Donna cuts a corner well. There's Terry Brands in the corner. His brother Tom, the head coach. It looks like he's got that cradle lock there. Doesn't have it doesn't have it locked up. He had it. For just a moment, right, and got a throw. There's the end of the okay. second period. Iowa, top, bottom, neutral. It'll be McDonough's down. choice. Green he chooses down. Right, His opportunity down. to try to get out inside 12 seconds and have riding time. Well, Escobedo really um, uh, could ride him the whole time and not get riding time here. So, and Escobedo is a very capable rider, but I don't think he's thinking of that right now just because of that. He is staying behind the arms while hanging on. McDonough kind of plays the game there, kind of showing that the hands are locked. Go, guys, action. Neutral. 57 seconds, he got it under one minute. That was the uh, objective of Angel Escobedo, and it comes back to their feet. Neither wrestler scored in the first period. It was 0-0. Each wrestler an escape. One-to-one -one in the third period. I tell you, both wrestlers are really wrestling hard, but there's not a lot of points in the scoreboard, but it just kind of shows you the quality. Yeah, because you'd guess that there'd be a lot of points being scored by well, these two. And there's two points, I believe. And two points. Got a whip over there. A little two-point whip over. You see whip over slide by. You see the red ankle band on Angel Escobedo and the red bar up above his name, the gold bar above McDonough. He's wearing the green ankle band. It's three to one Escobedo with that takedown in the third period. And with only 50 seconds left, he's a good rider. He's going to waste. You know, he's going to he's going to be able to uh, stay in there unless he um, lets him go. And one now, point escape and now from we'll McDonough. Got 40 seconds to go, and there's been no stall call so far. He's on the edge. Both these wrestlers are kind of time just runs out on them. They don't. There's a lot of stake right now in these next 30 seconds for both wrestlers. A lot at stake. There's that that quickness you're talking about from senior. Two points. points. Yeah. All this is happening on the edge of the mat, Dan. Yep. And uh, he's got a cradle locked up, and he got a reversal. Reversal. Yep. Two. So five four. So. Dwayne Goldman. 18th year, Terry Brands, the man in the corner. So, so what do you do? You got to let him up and take him down, I guess, to get a, to, to get a, uh, a, you know, unless you have a real quick tilt that you can count on. But I, I think uh, not, I haven't seen that quick kill, tilt on you. But yeah, you never know. Yeah, he reached back for the leg, but at, at, afterwards. All right, optional start. Good look okay, at listen, McDonough. Start Angel up. Escobedo. He's going to let him go. Neutral. Now he's going to have to go. He's going to have to clear his head. He's going to have a hard time because the guy can, can back up and run. And uh, he's going to you know, end up losing for the first time here in his entire career. Escobedo, the champion for the third time, a, a three-time Big Ten champion. He stays undefeated. There's Coach Goldman. 
Matt McDonough, very disappointed. His first loss. What a freshman. What a senior. Angel Escobar.